Hi, I'm Weston. I love talking about the 2022 World Series champion Houston Astros, and I'm here to talk about Justin Verlander winning a unanimous Cy Young Award. My oh my. So results came in tonight. It was obviously Justin Verlander. That was never the question. It was, could he have a unanimous one? And I did not think he would. I really didn't. I... I thought Cease might grab one vote, maybe McClanahan. I thought Manoa might get one just randomly, but no. A unanimous, perfect vote for Justin Verlander to get a unanimous Cy Young Award, which is absolutely incredible and deserved. Uh, Certain metrics, ERA, ERA+, best season of his Hall of Fame career, and that is hard to do. This is an amazing season Verlander had, the 175 ERA. Verlander came into a season that everyone was hoping, man, if he could just be like three quarters or two thirds of what he was before Tommy John, this could be a great year for him. And he blew every expectation out of the water. Every single one of them. I will give myself a good pat on the back because I said it had the chance to be a very, very good signing at $25 million for the season because I thought he could come back and be as good as he was. And I, I was wrong. He was Debatably better than he ever was. A magnificent season from Justin Verlander and a well-deserved, unanimous Cy Young Award to throw into the trophy case that is getting a little bit overpacked for Justin Verlander, his third Cy Young Award. First Astros player to win two Cy Youngs with the team, which is pretty darn neat. And we're going to take that and go right into the rumor with Justin Verlander on the contract thing, which is that it's rumored that he's looking for a Scherzer type of contract, which would be somewhere around two or three years at about $42 million per year. And I love Justin Verlander. I love what he has done. The time he has spent in Houston, very, very possible that when he goes into Cooperstown, it's got an Astros logo on the cap. That being said, if it's 40 plus million for Verlander, I think we mutually say it's been an awesome ride and kind of be done there. I, guys, we're kidding ourselves if we say he isn't due for a little bit of regression or more than a little bit. And while I think he's still going to be solid next season, I don't think he's going to be $40 million solid. If you could get it done in the realm of like 30-ish million, like 30 or 33, I'm there. But man, oh man, if it's $40 million and a multi-year deal, I'm, I'm not loving the concept of that. Especially when you're then thinking if it's two years or if it's three years at $42 million dollars. And you're paying a 42-year-old Justin Verlander $42 million? It's very possible because it is Justin Verlander and it would not be the first time that he proved people wrong. But I don't know how I feel about the concept of paying a pitcher who's into his 40s $42 million annually. That, that scares me a lot. But only time will tell where the Astros go from here with Justin Verlander. And on that note... That's all I have to say for the evening. If anything else happens of note, I will be back to make another video. But that's all I have. So if you enjoyed this one, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. And as always, Ghost Rose.